Hey guys, what's going on? Today I want to review a prop that I just got in and I'm really excited about because it's from one of my favorite movies of all time, The Saint. Anybody who's a cosplayer loves a movie where the main character gets to wear costumes the whole movie. Saint was actually a show back in the day which starred Roger Moore, which was the show that eventually led him to take over the position of James Bond. But the movie I'm talking about came out in the 90s, starred Val Kilmer, one of my favorite actors of all time. And there were a couple little items in that movie that were cool, but one in particular was the coolest item ever, which was his custom Swiss Army knife. And this is a replica of that Swiss Army knife. I'm very excited to break it down, and I can't wait to show you what this thing looks like. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. First things first, I just want to break it down. The link to the prop maker's Instagram is in the description below, so please check it out. Uh, the first thing I need to show is that this is a 3D printed prop. Now, with 3D printed props, you're always going to get print lines unless you use an SLA printer. Um, having said that, even though you can see some of the print lines, I actually don't mind that at all. In fact, I haven't even checked to see if the prop itself has print lines. But print lines in some of the other places have been sanded away. Just the face is missing it. Now, you do get the detail. Okay. Kumailum, uh, you have all of the, um, just the really cool little bits of it. So at first glance, you can tell right away what it is. Now, this feels like it might be smaller than the actual one in the screen, but then again, Val Kilmer and I are not the same size. This particular item is just a little over three and a half inches long, so that's not too shabby. He has also equipped it with a flip-out curved blade just like in the show. Now, it's not actually sharp, and it's plastic, and it's part of the print. The paint job on the silver is actually really great. It has a nice chrome look to it without it being just like blatant molotow. Um, I don't know what they have in Ireland, but it's absolutely fantastic. So just on outer glance, that alone would be a stellar prop. But as if that wasn't enough, the sun bitch flips open. <laughs> I can't, I swear. So we've got the green strip on the inside. A bunch of little details and things that were actually in uh, the prop in the film. Now, there were actually several of these in the film. It wasn't in a one prop did all. So when you're making a replica, you got to pick and choose. So we've got uh, the 1 through 13. We've got the alphabet, which is like a little codec. We've got the three attachments in here to pick a lock. These are 3D printed plastic pieces as well. These actually do flip out. So... If I grab one, and again, it's a little hard for me to grab them. Um, I do apologize. Let me use this because it make my life easier. So if you were to flip this, you can see they have different little lockpick mechanism looks to it. And then this piece on the inside here is actually, I believe this is glued in place, but... This was the um, the torch. Sorry, I'm moving this all over the place. Um, the torch bit. So I like that this was set up this way with the different uh, paint job, the dots here. They've gone ahead and put in two magnets so that it snaps closed really well. Now, the person also sent me a prototype version so that I can more... Oh, you can hear my dog coming in. So you can more accurately see what it looked like when it printed. So this half... Is just the knife and flip, and it's fairly straightforward. You can see that this actually did, so that guy is printed directly in. But these are the other little bits. And to be honest with you, just looking at what some of those bits are, this is incredibly detailed. I'm going to give the creator the benefit of the doubt and say that he researched this prop more than I did and knows what should and shouldn't be in there. If you're going to go through all this trouble, definitely I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. My favorite part is the hand-painted um, theater of... Um, tragedy and comedy mask on there that he had to paint by hand and that came out great put an actual belt loop piece through it so i could display it that way or i could put it in a boot whatever but overall this just kind of shows 3d printing can really be a fantastic solution for prop making but sanding some of this would have been a bitch so you are going to get those print lines but you know what this is one of those situations where I'll let the print lines go because I really, really wanted one of these ever since I was a kid and I saw that film. Well, I guess I wasn't a kid when the movie came out, but I was young enough. Uh, I was a teenager when the movie came out. But really love this. Love that it's multifunction. Um, 
very, very, very happy to own one of these. And I really was appreciative that he was able to link me up with the prototype so I could kind of see what it looked like. I may sand it down and uh, finish this one as well. Leave this one displayed open and this one displayed as a switch knife and uh, have two on display. Uh, but The Saint definitely is a movie that my wife and I love. We love watching it all the time. I love how he does the voices. You know, he's Martin de Porres or... My name is Thomas Moore, and, you know, I am August Christopher. My name is Verl Hossenfoss. Like, just the fact that he scrolled through so many different characters, um, I loved, but I also loved that so many costume changes and things were involved. Um, it's one of the reasons I like McAvoy's performance in Split and those films as well. So overall, I have to say that this is one of the most badass little things I've ever uh, invested in. And it was a modest investment. It wasn't really expensive at all. They were priced very affordably. I don't want to say reasonably because in my opinion, I think he should charge more. Uh, <laughs> I really truly do. I think that this prop is good enough. With the detail that was put in, with the, the magnets and everything, I think he should charge more. But I do not regret my investment one bit. I think it's phenomenal. And I recommend that you click the link in the description below and try to get one for yourself. I don't know how limited the run is, but if you are a fan of The Saint, you must possess this. Um, God, I could look at that all day. That just, the amount of hinges and working parts that are in this exceeds what I would expect for a normal prop. This is just really, really solid. I may go in and clean up some of the paint and do some things a little differently, but overall, I'm just absolutely floored with with the quality. I am completely satisfied. 10 out of 10 on the Saint prop. So if you guys like the Saint, then you absolutely need to pick one of these up. I absolutely think they are worth it. Uh, I just can't get over the fact that I own one of these and could potentially gut a boot from Goodwill and put that in the heel. I'm just thrilled beyond belief and that potentially I could do a Saint cosplay and then people, because of this, they would actually know what the hell I'm doing. So yeah. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with this prop. Thank you so much. And again, the link is in the Instagram.